what a crowd. I'm impressed. Welcome. Welcome to the very first uh, installment of what we hope will be a series called the Tembusu Forum. Uh, we're delighted to have you all here today. Uh, this, will, this program will go on for one and a half hours. This is an incredibly uh, special event for Tembusu College tonight, and uh, we really thank you for taking part. Now, this wasn't organized by me. I'm Greg Clancy, by the way, the master of the college. This was organized by our rector, Professor Tommy Coe. So let me call upon Prof. Coe, uh, call him up to the podium, and let him begin the proceedings. Please give him a warm round of applause for organizing this. Thank, thank you very much. And I join uh, my colleague Greg Clancy in extending a very warm welcome to all of you to Tembusu College. Um, when NUS appointed me as rector of this college, I wasn't sure what my role is and how I can contribute to collegial life. So I suggested to Greg, to the fellows and students of the college, that maybe um, one of my contributions is to help organize a Tembusu Forum. What's, what's the purpose of Tembusu Forum? Um, to put it very simply, my ambition is to bring the world to Tembusu and to bring Tembusu College to the world. I think it is good for our faculty and students to be well informed about the world and not just not just to rely on popular press, on, on simplistic generalizations of complicated situations, but to try to be thoughtful, be thoughtful about some of the big issues of the day. And I was thinking to myself, how can I start the Tembosu Forum at a very high level? And I thought, why don't I organize a discussion a discussion on one of the biggest issues at the United Nations this year. And it has to do with Palestine. The land which we call Palestine is sacred to three of the great religions of the world, to Judaism, to Christianity, and to Islam. On this sacred land, you have both Jews, Arabs, and other ethnic groups. It has been the ambition of all the people of Palestine that this holy land should be a land of peace. And we who don't live on this holy land um, join our friends in the holy land in their quest for peace. On the 23rd of September this year, President Mahmoud Abbas, in speaking to the General Assembly, said he was transmitting through the Secretary General, Mr. Ban Ki-moon, a request to the Security Council to consider the application of Palestine for admission as a new state of the United Nations. And this is the important proposition which we wish, we wish to discuss this evening. So I wouldn't call it a debate, although um, the poster said debate, because if it were a debate, then I would have asked my friend who represents the PLO uh, based in Kuala Lumpur to, to join this. But I did not want it to be a debate. I want it to be a sober, scholarly and thoughtful discussion. And so I turn to my colleagues in our Middle East Institute to see whether I could find a colleague willing to put forward a persuasive case in favor of the proposition that the UN sh should recognize Palestine as a state. Um, my original request was to the director of the MEI, Professor Michael Hudson, but Michael is unfortunately traveling and so I asked Michael if he could uh, recommend one of his colleagues. And um, he suggested I invite Dr. Matthew Weiss. Um, 
Dr. Matthew Weiss uh, is an American um, and has earned all his three degrees from universities in California, from Berkeley, Sacramento, and UC Davis. Um, he's currently a research fellow at the Middle East Institute. Um, I'd like to thank you, Matthew. I know that you're not an expert on this topic, so I'm very grateful to you for agreeing to speak at the forum and to put forward, as best you can, a persuasive case why the UN should recognize Palestine as a state. Please welcome Dr. Matthew Weiss. 